Greetings, the Hijabi Gamer here, and I promised at 5,000 subs I would do a tour of my gaming zone, aka Buster's Palace. And well, I'm recording this on my Razer phone too, so it won't be as smooth as the Logitech on my PC, but here goes nothing. Anyway, at the entrance, there is, of course, the obligatory Destiny 2 poster. It says, beware all who enter if you do not, if you aren't a Destiny 2 person. The hunter? That's me, okay? Her? She's me. There's another picture of her over there. Yeah, her? That's my Destiny. I want to be her. Cool. All right, let's all agree on that. That's, that's me. Anyway... In addition to the Destiny 2 posters, so when you first come in, there is a bank of drawers with just random stuff. So you've got, for example, the cat and her toys, cat treats, and Nerf gun bullets, um, you know, pens and pencils. Controllers, mice, Logitech mice. Every year they go on for sale for a really good deal. Controllers. More controllers. So, I end up picking up a Logitech mouse every year. I have too many. Then you've got just this random stuff here. So you've got... It's a jump ship from Destiny. Lost Kitties. That's actually a speaker. Shaped like a cat. Shadow Keep. There's Commander Zavala and a Hunter. That is from um, Star Trek First Contact. I have never opened it. It's just been... It's, I think it's Bubble Bath, actually. That Red Bull thing is a gift from my cousin. We've got Warhammer 40k, the Necron, and the Space Marine. I haven't been able to find... I think there was a Sister Sororitas. I can't remember what the other one was. I haven't been able to find them. Then you've got a uh, Halo Warthog with Master Chief, um, Osiris, Kate Six with his Chicken Colonel, um, Lord Saladin and his Wolves, a Sweeper Bot, Vex. This is the Amazon Ghost. So if you plug it in, you could link it to an Echo Dot, and it will answer you in Ghost's voice. There's a Destiny water bottle. Never used either of them. So there's the Hunter and Destiny. And then there's Cade giving a thumbs up. I think that was the pre-order bonus, not the one with the chicken. And a Roblox kitty cat. I mean, I don't play Roblox, but I can't say no to a cat with a staff. And there's another cat. You can barely see her. Someone at one point pointed out that, yeah, I do have a Fallout poster. I think it came in Fallout 4. And, um, stick, uh, pin set. Fallout pin set. That's, I think that came in the, uh, Destiny comic, Cade 6. And this was from a friend. She gave it to me. It was a display for a store. She had a whole collection of them, and she gave me the Destiny one she had. Then, yeah, there's a 43-inch Logitech, 43-inch uh, LG. I rarely use it now that, um, since I moved the computer to be next to the consoles, I use, um, the monitors on gaming. So, Nintendo Switch Dock, Xbox Phoenix, Xbox One, Ghost, PlayStation 4 with PlayStation VR, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 3 and two Xbox 360s. I was going to take one of them to Egypt, but, uh, circumstances. Then you've got the two monitors with my computer. The, uh, Logitech G, G, um, 560 speakers were a gift for my brothers. They have RGB lighting. It's very cool. Another ghost, Claptrap. And of course, Goose the Cat. And the new microphone. Thank you again, Pokagon. It is awesome. So 
And over here, this is where usually Buster would sit. She's now running around. And I've got the usual gamer stuffies. Um, most of them still have the tags because I've just never take the tags off. My favorites are, well, um, the engram, the purple engram, and the Animal Crossing one. Because he's got a whole deck for K.K. Slider. And I'm not a big Animal Crossing person, but he's just cool with his little headphones. Taco Cat. The Drifter. Cuphead. The little one's hanging squeak. And then I also have the near-obligatory um, Funko Pops. So... I don't have a lot. These are all of them. Three of them are Transformers. Uh, Megatron, Optimus Prime, and Soundwave. I have Goose the Cat. Not a big Captain Marvel fan, but the cat is a totally different story. I love Goose. I will look for videos of just Goose. Then there's three Halo ones. Um... Master Chief, then a Best Buy exclusive Master Chief, and a Best Buy exclusive Arbiter. Then there's a whole bunch of Destiny ones. So Zur, Amanda Holiday. There's like a, I think it was a, I think it was a, a Comic Con exclusive Sweeperbot. There's an Amazon exclusive Cade Six, a a, a Target one, a Target Cade Six, a uh, Best Buy um, exclusive Icora Ray. These aren't all of them, but these are most of them. I think I'm missing maybe two. So, I mean, if they ever release any more Destiny ones, I'll probably pick those up. And this is Buster's blankies. They're Zelda flannel blankies. They're very soft. She loves to sleep on them. Then I have my cap collection. Oh, and, uh, not a lot, but, uh, Guardian's Udite. This is a cat eater cap. Hunter. Destiny Tricorn. These are both Halo. Another cat cap. And Zelda. Now, these here are the shelves that you see behind me when I record. So, nearly everyone seems to end up with a whole bunch of mugs. The only one I personally asked for was the one from Bungie. There's a Halo one, Star Trek. That one's from Egypt. And then there's a gift from my cousin. She brought it for me from Dubai. It says, I spent all my money in Dubai, and all I had left was enough to buy half a mug. Um, it's actually half a mug. The other side is flat. It's meant to be a joke, because everything in, in Dubai is very expensive. Now you've got, like, books. So, for example, the Anthem Gamer Guide. This came with a collection. So it was like a, a, a Call of Duty World War II thing that was on clearance. It came with a visual encyclopedia of World War II. The Destiny Cookbook. And you've got this here. is actually a kid's book. D is for Destiny. Let's see if I can... And you've got the uh, Grimoire Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. The Comic Collection. Illustrated Harry Potter books, so books 1 through 4, Fantastic Beasts, and A History of Magic. The Destiny 2 Collector's Edition Game Guide. Codex Necrons, and the Core Rulebook. I need to get more of these Warhammer 40k books, but they're expensive and I don't have a lot of space. This is actually the Animal Crossing Official Companion, which again is interesting since I don't play a lot of Animal Crossing, but it's fun to flip through. Then you've got The Art of Destiny and The Art of Destiny Volume 2. Harry Potter Paperback. This is... So when Destiny 2 came out, I went a little nuts. And I got Destiny 2 Collector's Edition with the bag 
from um, GameStop for PlayStation 4. And for Xbox, I got this um, limited edition. So it came with the whole game, the digital deluxe, so all the DLC, and a bunch of other stuff. But it came with a physical copy of the game. Um, the Taken King. This I got off of Mercari for like 40 bucks. It was sealed. Shadow Keep Collector's Edition. You saw the other part on the other shelf. Then we've got more ghosts because I can never have enough ghosts. Hopefully one of these days Nolan North will like my picture of ghosts. Um, Fallout 3. Um, the Vault Dweller Survival Guide. Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. Uh, let's see, we got Bioshock the Collection. This is the book that came with the Visual Encyclopedia of World War II. See, Call of Duty World War II. And you've got Halo 3. Two, oddly, I don't know how I ended up with two, paperback of the Destiny 2 game guide, which is totally irrelevant right now. Uh, the Destiny Game Guide, Halo Wars, Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo 2. This I'm only keeping because I'm pretty sure this game is eventually going to come out on Switch. I don't have the original um, Wii U game anymore. But I figured Twilight Princess will eventually come out on Switch. I never got far in it on Wii U. Fallout 4, Fallout 76, it was on clearance. Kingdom Hearts. This is the original game guide. I think I still have the poster with the puppies. This is the Wii U Mario Kart 8 guide. There's actually a separate Switch one. Um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I tried to get into this game. I really tried. But there's too much talking. Halo Combat Evolved. This is for Breath of the Wild. So for the people who have told me, oh, you only like Breath of the Wild because you never played it, um, I even have the game guide because I wanted to get through the game. And I got pretty far into the game. And then my Switch bricked. And they gave me a replacement. And at the time, there was no cloud save for Breath of the Wild. So I lost everything. And I wasn't going to do it all over again. But I still have the game guide. And I still have the game. And one of these days, I'll do it all over again. But not today. God of War. Um, Skylander Superchargers. So this is sort of like Mario Kart with Skylanders. It's kind of fun. I was playing it, I think, on 3DS. Um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is an Amazon Fire Stick. Um, Titanfall. This is the original Final Fantasy VII Strategy Guide. Cyberpunk 2077. Still haven't played it yet, but I have the guide. The Art of Anthem. And the World of Tom Clancy's The Division. Then, um, down here you have a sort of retro classic mini setup. Um, plus the power line adapter. So, this is a small 19 inch insignia with, um, switch dock. The TurboGrafx-16 mini. The Neo Geo Mini. I love Neo Geo. I know people say that the controller doesn't click, but I've never had the original, so to me, I just like Neo Geo. Though it would have been nicer if it was like portable, and it looked like a normal handheld instead of like this. You can't carry that with you anywhere, and yet on the same time, it just it's not very well thought out. Um, Sega Genesis Mini. These aren't all my classic minis, just I could switch them out. I have a whole bunch in plastic containers. Then just a whole bunch of random stuff. So, for example, you've got flake stickers, um, switch controllers, just random stuff. Um, so, here, like I said, there's um, switch versions of the game guides. They're smaller, so Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, which I really should flip through, since I'm really bad at it. Crash Bandicoot. And 
This is a guide to the lost kitties. So the lost kitties are these small plastic toy cats that came blind bagged in um, little milk cartons. So you got these little toy kitty cats. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. I gave a bunch of them away to people. I gave my duplicates. I'm not a big fan of blind bags, but they're kitties. Can't say no to kitties. Um, these are a bunch of Destiny journals that, when the game was not doing so well, they were pretty cheap. So They're all empty. I need to do something with them. But the Traveler... Um, I got these from, I think, GameStop for her. I can't remember. But Ghost. And the Guardian the Guardian Crest. I am slowly rebuilding my movie collection. So we've got well, the Dresden Files, but the books were better. Um, Terminator, the six film collection, Thor Ragnarok, Jurassic World, Ghostbusters. Bumblebee, Detective Pikachu, Sonic, Back to the Future, Lord of the Rings books. We've got the Hobbit collection. This is actually Thorin Oakenshield's key. See, it came with the Desolation of Smog. Okay. I also have um my favorite doctor, David Tennant. Lord of the Rings. Quran. Right there. Our Muslim stuff. Here is a uh, guide to design doing headscarves. This is only a box. It was a code. I haven't played it yet. Waiting for it to get good. When it's good enough to play, someone let me know. Um, this was a gift from my brother. This book here, Be More Cat, Life Lessons from Our Feline Friends. Yeah. There's a theme. PlayStation 5 games. Though I lent my brother Miles Morales before I got to play it. I love Borderlands. And somehow I have ended up with like a million copies of Destiny and Destiny 2. People have given me copies. And, um, yeah. Anthem, Control. Control's really good. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake. These are the games for the Effercade. I think there's, like, most of them have been opened. But uh, I'm missing number 11. These are, um, if you follow Clownfish TV, they did an Indiegogo for their webcomic. And they finally came in the mail. And this was just released, Ask Iwata. Words of Wisdom from Satoru Iwata, Nintendo's legendary CEO. Still haven't read it yet, though. Just got it. Um, so, yeah. Then you've got my Amiibo. I don't have a lot. I sold a bunch of them a while back when I was buying my PC. Um, but I have the ones that matter, like Cat Mario. At least that matter to me. Cat Mario and Cat Peach. Another ghost. And more blank notebooks. I just, I like blank notebooks. And I like paper. And I especially love graph paper. This book was another gift from one of my brothers. I have five brothers. Star Trek cats. It basically takes scenes from Star Trek and makes them cats. These are all my video games. This is actually... So this one is PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. PlayStation 4. 
Xbox One. Another ghost. This is Kate Six's ghost. Random stuff. This is where my handhelds are. So there's the Evercade. Um, there's like 3DSs. Um, stuff like that. PS Vita. Just don't want to dig through and pull everything out. But, yep. Just random handhelds. Ne um, NVIDIA Shield Portable. Or rather the case for it. There's the Shield Portable. Two more Evercade games. And then just... So, random handheld stuff. So, for example, you've got Game Boy Color. You know, doesn't show well, but um, Game Boy Advance games. Xbox 360 controller. Then you've got the... So, this is where the... Um, Classics are like you could see. I think you could see the uh, PlayStation Classic right over there. Extra controllers, cables, just random stuff, fireworks, and um, my laptop. Yep. So that's more or less everything. I mean, clothing is in there, so figure not go in there. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. One of these days I'll make a video about my handhelds, because I've got some really unusual ones. But, uh, hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the tower.